Hello everyone and welcome. Today I want to go over the chapter 1 of the book which is kind of an introduction to AutoCAD. Well, from now on in your life you will probably stop drawing your design by hand and you will switch to digital tools like AutoCAD. Drawing in AutoCAD has some advantages over hand drawing. Well, first, it is much faster if you get used to it. And second, you will be drawing your design in full size in AutoCAD, so you won't be needing to draw in any specific scale. For example, if the dimension of the room you are drawing is 10 feet by 10 feet, you will draw it with the exact same dimension, so you won't need to use any architectural scales anymore. You can draw different fixtures, furniture, or whatever stuff that you like only once, save them, and use them any other time that you want or in any other project. Or you can share them with anyone you want, and it's kind of reusable. Now, let's talk a little bit on things that you need to have to be able to work easily with AutoCAD. So, the first thing is having a mouse with a rolling wheel, okay? You will be using your mouse to pick locations and objects in your drawing. Also, if you want to use icons for commands and things like that, okay? So, I might say, for example, here, do a right click or a, re or a left click or use the wheel. So, you will also need a keyboard to enter command shortcuts and I'm going to tell you what those are okay and whenever you use keyboard in order to run a command or finish it you will be needing to hit enter key on the keyboard so it's like an on and off button now let's move on and see how does AutoCAD screen look like when you open AutoCAD, this is the first screen that you will be seeing, and it's called Start a Screen. From here, as you can see, you can either start a new drawing, open an existing one, or just open a recently opened document or file. Or you can just easily click on this plus sign over here. You see, when you ho hover your mouse over it, it shows new drawing and then click and this is a new drawing tab or window okay and as you see the start window is still open and you can switch between these tabs and you see the command ribbon is grayed out in the start screen here we also have some templates that we will be talking about them later. Okay, so, and this name over here shows the name of this document, this open document. So the name by default was drawing two, uh, and if you want to change it, you can rename it whenever you want to save your project. Now let's go and see what we have in here. Okay, so. This red A button is the application menu browser. Whenever I want to refer to this, I'm going to say A button. It's just easier, okay? So if you click, you would see that it is similar to any other application that you have used before, like PowerPoint. Next is the quick access toolbar here at the top. So this is called quick access toolbar. Okay, and you have the icons like save and print over here. They are easily accessible from here, although you won't be using them because in AutoCAD we are going to learn how to use quick commands or shortcuts by typing in just a letter in the key keyword. Okay, and then this big part is command ribbon, this one over here. And you will almost find anything that you want in it to draw your drawing, okay? And to just modify it and everything. And as you can see, it has been divided into separate parts, which we call them P. 
panels, okay? And each panel has a set of commands in it. And they are named based on the function of the commands that are in them. So, um, for example, draw or modify or annotation and things like that. So, if you want a command that is related to drawing, you can find it here. If you want to modify something, you should come here. If you want to use annotations, you would come here and so on. Okay. Well, next, this big black area is called um, drawing area. And this is where we start drawing in. And at the bottom, here are the model and layout tabs. And here is the status bar, okay? There's a picture on page 6 of chapter 1 that you can find all of these names in it, okay? So don't worry about it. Now, turn everything off over here, except this object to snap button, okay? You see? It says snap cursor to DD to 2D reference points, and I'm going to talk about this later, okay? So when these buttons are in blue, that means they are on, and if they are in black, that means they are off. This is the command line, this white area, where the AutoCAD will show you which command is currently selected, and the steps you need to take to get whatever you are doing done. And if you want to move it, you just you just need to click and hold and move your cursor to wherever you want. But I would say just go with the default right now and do not change it, okay? And if you want to expand it, just click here and push it to the right and left, okay? Now, if I select the line command at the top, you would see that uh, the command is displayed here, line. And also, a message is showing up that tells me what to do next. It's great, right? So, right now, for example, it is saying that I need to specify the first point. And as you click, the next line of information will show up. And the previous one is showing up here. Okay, so this is the new message and this is the previous one. Okay, and they will be stacked uh, on each other here. Okay, as you hit enter and enter. Now, instead of let me just uh, hit escape, okay, and get out of the command. So in order to get out of a command, you can either hit enter or escape key on your keyboard, okay? Now, instead of selecting the command icon from the ribbon, like what I did, I can type in the command that I want in this command line, and it will do the same, okay? And if, actually, you don't need to type the command inside this box, you can just type it anywhere. Your mouse doesn't need to be located in any specific location. And that's great, right? Just type in line and hit enter to run the command. And then you can start drawing. Okay? Hit enter to get out of the command or escape. Okay? Now, the cool thing is that it is even easier than this, and you don't need to type in the whole word most um, whole word in the in here, okay. Most commands in AutoCAD have a hotkey that is associated to them, and it's like a shortcut to that command. We either call them quick commands or shortcuts. So the quick command to line is L. You just need to type in L and hit enter. You see this line over here? It will be selected, the first one. L and hit enter. This way you can work super fast. Instead of looking for an icon over here or typing a whole word, you will be needing to just enter the shortcut command and that's it. Well, I'm very, very 
very strict on this and I want you to pay attention to it okay in AutoCAD we will be using shortcuts so try to memorize the shortcuts whenever we talk about one and write them down and make sure to use them I don't want to see any of you work with the icons or type in a whole command okay this is serious because it kind of affects your future I don't want you to get used to the icons okay clear because actually whenever you want to get a job nobody wants a person who works slowly or if someone sees that you are working like that in AutoCAD they will kind of be disappointed I promise you will get used to it much sooner and faster than what you think and it won't be hard for example in this case L character or letter is the first letter in the word line okay so it's so easy to memorize it also you will have them in your test so take it serious now to repeat the previous command you used you don't need to type it again you just need to hit enter again and it will run the previous command you used so to repeat a command use enter you see it's line again and to get out of a command you can either use the enter key again or hit escape on your keyboard okay another key that works exactly like enter in AutoCAD is a spacebar okay so instead of using enter you can either use um, spacebar or enter okay sometimes uh, it is faster to use spacebar instead of the enter okay and when no command is running you see the uh, cursor how does it look like uh, it's like a square shape with four lines and with two lines over it okay crossing over it so but when we are running a command it's like just two cross lines and one more thing about this upper part okay so there are lots of tools in AutoCAD and they are categorized in different tabs over here based on their functions okay so we have insert tab annotate parametric view manage and so many others and you may even do not use some of these tabs during your time working with AutoCAD and this home tab is actually includes the basic commands you will be needing and it is the tab that you will be using the most in AutoCAD well by default you see that the background color in AutoCAD is black but you have the option to change it that actually I do not recommend but in case you need to do it you can go to the A button and then from here come here and select options actually many many AutoCAD settings can be changed from here but for now we just want to see how to change the background color okay so you need to go to display tab and then you can change the color theme from dark to, to light okay this is the first step and then you need to come here and select colors button and when these two are selected 2d model space and uniform background come here and change the color to white for example I'm just gonna cancel it for now because I don't want mine to be changed okay and but if you want you can hit OK and change it next thing that I want to talk about is customizing your mouse clicks okay by default when you right click on the screen you will see the shortcut menu so this is called shortcut menu so if I want to repeat the previous command I can either hit enter or right click and it and in this shortcut menu select the first one which is repeat options because the last command actually we run is was options so let's change it to I'll enter and hit enter again 
Now, if I right click, you see it's saying repeat line. Okay. So definitely hitting enter is easier and faster than this, but we can change the way this right click works. You have this option to customize your mouse buttons and change them based on your preferences. For that, again, you need to go to options to a button. Okay. And go to options. Next, go to user interface tab. And then let me find it. Where is that? Oh, here from here, click on right click customization. And then select the first item over here, turn on time sensitive right click. Okay. And then apply and hit OK. Now let's hit um, run line command first. Okay. Um, now what the change we have made does is that if you right click, it will repeat the previous command for you. But if you right click and hold your mouse a little bit longer, the shortcuts menu pops up again. Okay. So it will be kind of dual purpose and it does make sense now to use right click to repeat a command. Okay. It's just faster right now. But again, for me, it's easier to use either enter or space bar keys. Another customization that you may want to do is to hide or eliminate this X by axis, which is called UCS icon. Okay because actually we won't be needing this. Uh, to hide it, go to view tab. Okay. Any tool or most of the tools related to visual settings are located here. Okay. So just turn it off from here. You see this button is in blue. That means it is on. Okay. You can just turn it off and it's gone. You won't um, be seeing it anymore. You see these two other buttons over here, view cube and navigation bar, you can turn them on and off from here as well. Okay. So here is the view cube. Okay. And we use it to navigate through a 3d model that, um, we won't be using here. And this is called the navigation bar and it has some tools uh, over it that we will be using and we will be talking about later. Okay. So like pan or zoom or things like that. Okay. So you can either make them uh, on and off. Well, since we will not be covering every little thing in AutoCAD, you may face a problem or question and you may want to look for help, right? So this is when AutoCAD help comes in and can help you with your questions. To look for help, you can use this question, mar uh, question button over here at the top, which is actually help button, or you can easily press F1 key on your keyboard to access the help uh, window. Okay. So if you hit it, you can see that. And then you can search in here for different commands or anything that you want. Okay. Now let's get to the things that you are most probably familiar with because they are common in all other computer applications. If you hit a button, you can see that we have options to create a new drawing, open an existing one, or you can save your file or create a save as. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit on creating a new drawing. Go to a button. You can either click here or just come here and then select drawing. Okay. Now, what are these? Well, 
these are different template drawing files that I can use to start with. Okay, so you see that by default it is set to a CAD. Now, what is a template file? Well, a template drawing or file is a file that have some specific customization in it. So, for example, the drawing screen may look different in it. These tabs and commands may look different based on the specific needs of the person that uses that type of template. So, for example, here in the Home tab, we have the commands that are related to 2D drawings. But if you use a template for 3D drawing, it will be different, just to make it easier for the person that uses AutoCAD to use those commands, okay? So, these tabs may be different in different templates, and the same is for other settings. But it would be still actually AutoCAD and it would have the same features and tools just they are placed in a different location and the screen may look a little bit different so for example if you go to a button again this one a cap 3d is the type of template that is going to be used by those who want to create a 3d drawing in AutoCAD okay and the important thing is that different files with different functions will have a different extension. And by extension, I mean this .dwt, for example. Okay, the thing that comes after the name of the file. It's important to memorize these extensions, okay? And you will have them in your test, so make sure to write them down. Now let's go and open a new drawing so I can show you these extensions. Open drawing. Now I can open different type of files. Okay, so one is .dwg, .dws, .dxf, and .dwt. Okay, so the extension for a template drawing is .dwt what we have talked about a minute before. The extension for an AutoCAD drawing, like this drawing one over here, what we have created, is .dwg. So these are the files that we create them and start drawing in them and things like that, okay, are dwg files. This is the main type of file we will be using in AutoCAD. We have another file type uh, that has a different extension, which is .dxf, this one, okay? This one is a universal drawing exchange file, okay? So, for example, you may draw a drawing in a different software like Rhino or SketchUp, and you may want to bring it here in AutoCAD and use it. So, if it's a SketchUp file, you won't be able to open it up here in AutoCAD. But if you save your file as a DXF, then you can use it in other software like AutoCAD. And the same is vice versa. If you want to use your 2D drawing that you have drawn in AutoCAD and open it in a SketchUp, you will be needing to save it as a DXF type of file in AutoCAD. Okay? So DXF is using to exchange a file in different software or applications. Just a review, .dwg is the main AutoCAD drawing file, .dwt is the extension for a template drawing, and .dxf is the extension for an exchange file. Okay, so this is what I wanted to cover for chapter 1. Don't forget to do the review questions to go over them and read the book.